This is Jake One, and uh, this is the making of the beat for Wale's song, The Success, off of the album About Nothing. This song came about, basically, Wale called me, I think, on Christmas Eve of 2014, no, 2013, and uh, told me he was gonna be in town uh, for the holidays, be in Seattle. So we ended up going to the studio Christmas Day, kind of early. We recorded like I think three or four ideas and one of them ended up being this. He ended up going back and recutting the vocals uh, in a different studio. It was just something that, you know, took a little bit of time to all the way come together. You know, even when he did it at the time, I thought it was dope. So, but I wasn't sure if it was gonna make it because you just never know. The beat was made probably in 2012, I think. Um, a couple other people had shown interest in it. Um, I know J. Cole had recorded something to it, but it never came out. That was for uh, the Born Center album, actually. It was another beat that, like, you know, the original version was kind of stripped down, and I went back and added stuff to it um, around his vocals. Like, we did a part on the chorus with, uh, with live, live instruments, with NSB, with uh, the Scooter and No. Um, and I think that definitely made the record bigger. And, I, you know, anytime I sample something, I'm always, at this point, I'm starting to get worried, like, is the sample going to clear? Is the record going to get cut because they want too much? And, uh, you know, luckily in this situation, the record that I sampled, the people that owned it were actually happy we sampled them. So that was really dope. You know, shout out to Warren Lankford for creating a really dope song for me to sample and, uh, you know, giving me his blessing to use it. That definitely makes the process a lot easier. <laughs> So yeah, this is the making of Wale's The Success off the album About Nothing. So with this one, uh, the first thing I really used uh, when I made the beat was the sample. Um, so, so I just kind of made this like, I don't know, I guess it's four bar sequence. Um, started with Three different kicks, yeah, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and then a tom in the middle, and the snare. So I just kind of made a little pattern off of that. Kind of a simple drum pattern. Uh, and then, you know, instead of a playing uh, a bass line on this one with like a regular bass hat, I just did an 808. Uh. Do that, but just felt like trying something different. And then I added like just a real 
real generic 808 symbol just to kind of fill out the space. Uh, basic you know whatever four bars here um, and then uh, I just listen to you know some more parts from the record and try to find something that can kind of be an intro and a, more of a chorus that wasn't as dark um, so I end up taking this part end up looping this part right here repeating that part for the intro and the choruses. And it's kind of, you know, I, I don't know where who started doing this first, but I always think of Just Blaze and that he always has like a pretty part to the beat um, to start. Not necessarily pretty, but something that just kind of sets the table and then you come in with something really hard and it makes it even more powerful when you come in with that uh, you know, the rap part. So, started it like this. It just makes the other part come in a lot more powerfully. Um, so for the rest of the beat, um, I actually did most of the programming in Pro Tools. So for the, the intro, I kind of added like this little kick pattern and uh, some hi-hats. Use like verify to slow it down and make that kind of stop and start like the record thing that everybody does. And I also put like this sweep in there that I've been using for way too damn long. Um, <laughs> I don't even remember when I started using this, but it's something I got off. Uh, the sixth track. This is a big sweeper thing. It's nice for like transitions. Um, um, going and and then the other thing that I did added to it was on the choruses. Um, just wanted to have more uh, ability to drop things in and out. So I didn't want just that choir singing to be there all the time. So I had uh, my dude's NSB came in the studio uh, and we recorded like a part to go over the uh, the choir part in the intro. So we did piano. sample had a um, keyboard bass in it that sounded really dope so I kind of wanted to match that.
Space Echo with a lot of with kind of the chorus setting way up. Kind of get that Doogie Hauser Fender Rhodes. All the elements of the beat. Um, we did some like edits uh, around his vocals, and you know, doubled some things, and did some uh, some tricky little stuff like that. But that's pretty much how the beat was made. Uh, Wale, the success off the, the album about nothing, featuring Jerry Seinfeld. Just <laughs> Lord forgive us for sinners, was poor with the other children. Of course the ills that are less fortunate support why they're killing us. Graduated.